Hey there, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're gonna be testing the Samsung Galaxy Smart Tag. Welcome back, Sergio here with Surge Tech, where we do tech reviews and tutorials so that you can get the most out of your tech. All right, so in this video, I have the Samsung Galaxy Smart Tag. I've been looking for a device like this for quite some time now to be able to track any specific object that I want as easily and inexpensive as possible. So with the Samsung Galaxy Smart Tag, this is actually a super cheap device. You can get one for around $29.99 at most stores or online. And since I got the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, it actually came with not one, but two Samsung Galaxy Smart Tags. So I'm super Super happy that Samsung came out with the Samsung Galaxy Smart Tag. Apple has been trying to release the Apple Air Tags for quite some time, but Samsung beat them in the release of their trackable device. All right, so now that it's out and we have it, I want to do some real life tests on it to see how quick and accurate it actually responds. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. I'm going to place this Samsung Galaxy Smart Tag in a car and in different places, and we're going to take it around town so that we can test and see how quick it actually reports its location and how accurate that location actually is. First thing you gotta do is you gotta connect your Samsung Galaxy Smart Tag to your Samsung device and all you have to do is press this little button back here that says Galaxy Smart Tag. Once you press it, it's gonna make a little noise. It should show up on your Samsung device if it has Samsung Smart Things. This app right here. If you don't have it on your Samsung, you could most likely download it from the Play Store and it's really simple to set up. You just have to go through the setup steps and you have to have a Samsung account and if you don't have one, you can easily create one and it's free to create. So once you have that created, you're gonna go into your Samsung Smart Smart Things app and here it's going to show your Galaxy Smart Tag and other Smart Things devices that you have set up in here. Once you go to Smart Things Find, that's where you can find the different Smart Things devices like the Galaxy Smart Tag that you have set up in the app. All right, so now that I have it set up on the Smart Things Find app, now we're going to go ahead and place this baby in my car and in different areas around town so that we can test how accurate it actually is. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to place this Galaxy Smart Tag one in each car so i'm gonna place this one right here in my girlfriend's car just gonna throw it in there and we're gonna go ahead and place this second one here in my father's car i'm gonna place it over here somewhere in the trunk just place it right there Ta -da! and now we're just gonna wait a couple minutes maybe an hour or two and i'm gonna log back into the smart things app and see if we can locate them easily. All right, it's been a few hours since I put the smart tags in the vehicles and we're gonna go into the phone now and see if we can track them down. All right, so here we are. We're gonna go into the Samsung smart things. All right, so let's see if we can find it. So smart things find. All right, so pretty cool. It looks like it is tracking one of the smart tags and that does look like that's the exact address where it should be at this moment. So this right here is the Samsung device, which is this Galaxy. Galaxy S21 right here. And let's see where the other smart tag is. The other smart tag is over here. Spotted by a nearby Galaxy device. And uh, it's pretty cool here. It gives you the time. So it says 10 minutes ago, it was spotted here at this location. And let's see the other smart tag, how long ago it was spotted. So this one was spotted four hours ago. And you can also set it up here to notify you when it is found so that you get notified at the precise moment when it is found by a nearby Galaxy device. Let's see, it says updating. So yeah, it didn't update, stayed with the last update, which was 13 minutes ago, the last time that it was spotted by a nearby Galaxy device. And this one, four hours ago, let's see if by refreshing it, it gets spotted by another Galaxy device nearby. And yeah, after trying to you know search uh, once again for it, it stayed with the last update, which was four hours ago. So so no change there as of yet. All right, so as you can see, those are the results of the location tracking of the Samsung Galaxy Smart Tag at the moment. So is the Samsung Galaxy Smart Tag worth it? So I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. For the price, it's only $29.99 to get this. The service is actually free to be able to track your Smart Tag. All you need to do is have a Samsung device with a Samsung account, which is also free. So is it worth it? In my opinion, it definitely is. However, if you need more precise, second to second tracking, then this is not the device for you as it may take sometimes a couple seconds. It may take sometimes several minutes, even up to a couple hours for the SmartThings app to find the Smart Tag. And this is because the Smart Tag relies only on nearby Samsung devices to detect its location. And yes, there are a lot of Samsung users out there. It's still not enough to be able to get the fast tracking that most people would want. So in my opinion, if you want to get a tracker to be able to track something for a very inexpensive 
inexpensive price and not having to pay a monthly fee, then this is definitely the way to go if you have a Samsung device because it could give you pretty accurate location tracking. It just might not be on the spot. It may take a little while for it to report the location. So if you can deal with that, then it will probably be worth it for you. However, if you're looking for a device that will track whatever it is that you're trying to track second by second, then this is not the device for you. You'll probably have to get a GPS device that you'll have to pay a monthly subscription for that will bring GPS data services in it. That is until maybe Apple comes out with the Apple AirTag. Now, in my opinion, there's a lot more people using iPhones at the moment than Samsung's. So my guess is that the Apple AirTags would probably detect the location of the tag a lot faster since there are more iPhone users in most places. But that's something that we're going to have to wait and see. All right, everyone. So that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you're thinking about the Samsung Smart Tag and if you got some value out of this video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a like. It really helps me get this video out to more people. So that's it for this one. I'm checking out. I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, peace.